India is fascinating, colorful, and rich in contrasts. My dancing painting project involving women and children at Deep Griya Society, an NGO helping the underprivileged in Pune, India, was truly an amazing adventure. They taught me some Bollywood dancing and I shared my way of painting and together we collaborated to create several large sized canvases that I in turn finished towards the end and retouched in my studio in Paris. Many elements of this experience reminded me of T.S. Eliot's poem for quartets, which are abstract meditations on the challenges we all must confront at some time or other along the path of our own individual hero's journey. Eliot, a Christian, was influenced by Buddhist Hindu doctrines. Interesting parallels reflect that of Indian poet philosopher Tagore. Both alike wrote poetry that address facing the dark, fearful times in our lives, overcoming difficulty to find grace that brings us through the rain towards hope and light. The image of dance and time is also woven within the words of both poets. Creativity is prayer in whatever form, and so it was that by dancing together in India, we put prayer in motion and continued dancing on the canvas with each stroke of color. Painting is empowerment and each painting represents a voyage that tells a story and often connects us with our spirituality. And when art becomes a bridge that unites us together, we experience a kind of joy and love that is not only remarkably transformative, but like a kind of coming home. <laughs>